It was in 2015 when Namibians celebrated the first ever state wedding, just a few weeks before witnessing the swearing-in of the country's third president. Dr. Gengop had just won the 2014 presidential race and was the president-elect when he tied the knot. Monica Kalondo, a qualified lawyer and a notable businesswoman, was the wife-to-be of the then Prime Minister and vice president of the ruling Swapo party. Her choice of wedding gown design soon kept the nation in suspense, as Dr. Gengop had been known for his impeccable taste in style and love for fine fabric cuts. In keeping with the Awambo culture, the bride and first lady in waiting opted for a traditional red, pink and purple wedding gown with a mermaid design completed with a tiara made with traditional beads. Gengos had always been public about how she met Dr. Gengop, saying they have been best friends for many years. The now former first lady once at an event expressed her then worry about the public's perception in relation to the 35-year age difference between her and her husband. True to the saying that love overcomes anything, Gengos accepted this fact. Former NBC reporter Donateni Shidudu covered the wedding ceremony which was attended by close family and friends of the couple at the Vendu Country Club. So, but what I can remember so far, there was a sense of excitement, uh, a general uh, euphoria as people were anticipating to see uh, how the event uh, will look like. And you know, um, both uh, the then president elect, or uh, Dr. Gainkop and uh, uh, Monica Gainkos, are people of style. Um, everybody wanted to see how they are going uh, to look like on their wedding day. And uh, uh, because of that, uh, they were also getting married on a Valentine Day. Um, it, it, it was a special occasion, so, so it also added glamour to the event. For Shidudu, though he had the privilege to cover the presidential nuptial, he felt the pressure too. As, long, as much as it was um, exciting, it was also challenging to me because as the only reporter um, at the event, I was then expected to make sure that I tell the story as it is. And I had to make sure that I capture uh, with my cameraman um, every moment uh, and make sure that the story is um, it's, um, highly descriptive. For nine years, the former reporter has kept his wristband that granted him access to the wedding as memorabilia. Dedicated to national duty, the couple in 2015 in a statement said that as much as they would want to celebrate their wedding day with a network of family, comrades and friends, it was unfortunately not practical. It was a time of transition of government and other pressing matters demanded their attention at the time. Unlike the past years in which they celebrated their found love, Monica, who at many occasions, if not always, sat next to her husband with a bright smile, will sadly go through it all without him, but with memories of the unifier. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.